Hey what's up guys Rajat here from VFX World welcome back to my channel and one another tutorial so today I'll show you how to make a cool HUD element inside of our Dolby After Effects by using Element 3D so without wasting any time let's get started Okay, so now we are in my system so first thing first let's take a new composition just uh, rename it like e3d and one more is like a uh, new solid which name is like element me and t element so guys this is now our main element let's change this solid setting color it's going to black okay now what I have to do is I will import my HUD element photo which I already downloaded from uh, Google you can Google it so this is my I mean uh, sorry yeah just drag and drop yeah so this is main uh, photo I didn't uh, just scale it down slightly okay now do one thing just drag it below this layer and turn this off now go to this element layer and FX controls now right click and video copilot take element this scene will come here this element setup is here now go to this custom layers and take custom texture maps from there select this layer one to this new PNG which I imported which is my HUD element now open the scene setup so now this is we are now in our element 3d this is a viewport so now take create plane which is come here and now select this scale tool and scale it as much bigger as you can slightly like this okay now turn on this environment option on now you can see the actually environment let's uh, add some <coughs> presets which is like physical and just drag and drop now we got our own flow which is pretty cool next thing we have to create our next create card which is slightly turn up yep now I have to add some textures here so just select it and first of all I have to rename it so just right click and rename like ground and just press ok next select this one <coughs> and select this more uh, what you can see material and go to this diffuse option and from here select custom layer 1 now press ok so now you can see our photo which is that element one is visible here okay now I just um, for <coughs> viewing purpose just turn off this environment okay so now you can see this very clearly okay guys now what I have to do just go to the settings and this blending mode just press it to add now you can see this blending mode is going to add and you can see through this but still this box is coming here so now just select this plane mode and press this two sided plane option turn it on and then go to this option which is reflection mode and from there from there disable this environment it's like this now this box is gone but still if you look very closely you can see this box is coming properly right next what you have to do just go to this material and went to this first part drag down a little bit and decrease this peculiar multiplier which is should go zero now absolutely this is not visible that box only we have our own 3d PNG photo now drag it 
a little bit down slightly up like this and next thing if you change this diffuse color you can change this color rightly uh, directly from here so just diffuse it like uh, what do you want I preferred okay I preferred this red one yeah this one is good next go to this elimination tab and use this diffuse color turn on and if you change this nothing will happen but if you decrease this and intensity should go up you can see this box again so just turn it on and now if you increase this this will illuminate right so now you can illuminate it in a red color or whatever you can want but make sure if you are using red color in diffuse channel make sure you will illuminate this in red okay so now I have to do one more thing select this copy this and add this in elimination tab paste it here now what happened is go to this elimination tab and turn it off you can eliminate it from right there so no need to turn on this option and no need to increase this one also it will already illuminating okay next thing what I have to do is select this and press right click duplicate all or duplicate model so now just control D for duplicate purpose and select this one and just click right click and duplicate and replace okay next what I have to do select this model and just lightly turn this up select the scale one and scale it slightly down now select this one and change your diffuse color from here to any color which you use want to ch change like let's add this green one and move to this illumination part and change this illumination color to this same green one okay so now you can see this both are looking pretty nice but they are looking almost duplicate so now just rotation mode and rotate it slightly so now it's become little trickier to I mean judge for others let's add one more copy select this plane and control D for duplicate select this model I mean material then uh, right click and duplicate and replace then select this one and move it slightly up and select this and decrease sorry and decrease the scale slightly again like this yeah next select this one and again go to this diffuse panel and change this color like I wish to change it in okay this blue and same you have to go to elimination tab and change it in blue now these three colors are different okay and you can see all these stops now just little more elimination I need so just eliminate it like this and go here and this elimination color is like this yeah next I have to change this exactly environment so just go to this environment now I am using this one like a blurred one because otherwise you it will reflect on here just select this I mean what you have to choose this one is a little bit darkish so it's nice next the fun part is to select the last one and just move it slightly up next select the ground and I will do select come here and mode reflection should go environment so sorry not mirror surface now you can see this through here it will reflecting on this ground which is pretty awesome next go to this black solid I mean black glass solid and drag it like slightly and decrease this glossiness little bit it will become little depth on this slightly more okay nice now I got my own HUD 3D comp now if you wish you can add more elements but first I have to add more compositions so just press OK here and just file save as and save it like HUD and save 
next select right click new and camera now turn off this f top field depth of field option because i will uh, uh, turn it on after some time now press ok then select this camera and rotate this camera like this and zoom it until you will happy with your zooming purpose now see guys it's already looking really nice but it's in quarter mode just go to this full view and it will show you the full view now the settings which i will do just go to this right click new some kind of light i am using that ambient light which is 100 percent and press ok so now it's a little bit ambient color next go to this element option and turn this off and open this render settings mode and from here just don't open this ambient occlusion and turn this on otherwise you can see that box here so it will uh, decrease your render quality then go to this lighting option and add light from just select like 360 for my purpose no 360 is not good like cinematic is good cinematic no uh, dramatic dramatics not stylized okay then 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 what I have to choose like underwater underwater is not actually aqua yes aqua is very nice pretty awesome next I will just turn it off and I will open this uh, where I had glow then turn this glow on when you turn this glow on it will glowing very nicely now turn this glow intensity like 5 and this glow radius should go 1 so now it's glowing but it's not glowing too much a little bit like 3 so now it's glowing a little bit good now this threshold like 1 it's no not 1 like 0.5 yeah now it's a little very tricky and good one it's glowing really awesome now select this camera and just drop down camera option and turn on this depth of field but guys make sure if you turn on this depth of field your system will getting hang and it will become a little slower so i'll add more things here then i'll turn this on so what i'll enter just select this element and open the scene setup now select this three just turn this off and create a new sphere here in between this now just small it like this and move it slightly up little more small it's like this it's good just zoom it here and I think this is enough select this move tool okay it's nice okay now what I have to do I will choose from presets physical and this blue wireframe mode just select this now see you can see these black parts as well just select this one click this blue wireframe material and go down here or you can select it from here this wireframe option and from here just select the fill mode from solid to lines only now you can see through this line but these lines are very thin so just press this width option and make it a little bit thicker like this you can change this line color like orange or like orange is good now change this bias which which can help you for getting some glow and the friendless for inside glowing purpose but I use little down as like this now it's pretty awesome let's move slightly in this direction yeah it's nice okay so when you're happy with this I'll add three two more things which will I'll add after some time next just press ok on this it's like this now you can see this will popping out here now what I have to do select my camera drop down it transform option select all of this and go to this five settings now select like five or six seconds here just press n for trim this comp and i will do like orientation just rotate it slightly 
and this day I just uh, decrease my resolution from full to quarter for a smooth view just like this and back here and a little bit like this next I will position my camera slightly in this direction and when it will go here just like this this position should go just like this and little zoom slightly in this direction so now this is my main animation but it should go from very little far so just select this camera option and zoom it a little back like this sorry my mistake just fit the screen and just select it from here and move it slightly like this when you move it it will become like this wow it's really nice guys it's already looking pretty nice just just a little bit zoom out so this is my main animation next just from quarter I'm just selecting this full view you can see the exact animation which is which will look like this now I have to do select this one and turn on this drop down from here just turn on my depth of field option like this turn this on when you turn this on the depth of field will come now I will uh, increase my aperture which is like really high it's almost like 50 and then uh, first of all I have to save this so file save and then I just select it from half resolution then just decrease my focus distance which will like thousand okay guys so now you can see I already adjust this uh, depth of field option let's go and turn this one little bit brighter so just select my element layer and same setup select this blue wireframe and just go to this parameter and just make this width a little bit thicker and uh, turn this line color to little brighter like this and well I will go to illumination tab and turn this illumination like this and diffuse color and illuminate it slightly like this okay so now press ok now if you can see it will be illuminate it's pretty nice okay next thing I have to some color correction here just right click new adjustment layer right click color correction curves now I just turn this color a little down and just pick it up plot blue blue and move it slightly a little up and decrease this green one slightly like this now you can see there's a color is coming from this direction which will like a what you can see ambient lighting option okay so this is it for today guys hope you guys really love my this video if you love this element 3d tutorial and hud element please do comment share and don't forget to subscribe vfx world for more fresh contents and tutorial like this still there have fun stay healthy and make a cool hud element and send me those pics thank you for watching have fun